All right, what's up everyone? New Weapons Finder here, and today we're gonna be talking about some more Akela and Gaflora to one ooze. Okay, don't actually laugh when you're gonna be seeing these weapons because one made me actually laugh. But yeah, this Merc report is gonna be called Seeding Some Disruptive Tendencies. Mercs, we know you are always interested in new tools of the trade. And we have several new upcoming options for your arsenal to share with you today. Starting with the Horzine Research Group's latest offerings, the Disruptor and Tommy Boom. What? Fucking Tommy Boom. Dude, I was just like thinking, which weapon could they make into HRG? And I was like, Tommy gun, maybe? I mean, what are they gonna do with the Tommy gun? I don't know. But alas, Tommy boom. <laughs> Fucking killing floor, I swear to god. But yeah, anyway, this is how it's gonna look like, HRG Tommy boom. Yep, Tommy boom. I mean, what did you expect? It's just a regular Tommy gun with... A skin on it. Tired of your grenades being big and the resulting boom large? Want to spread around some of that explosive message to whom it may concern? Look no further than the Tommy Boom. This modified SMG has been over engineered to fire explosive ammunition and deliver it as fast as you can keep your finger on the trigger. This tier 2 brings a whole new way to share your love of explosives with all the Zeds headed your way. I guess this is gonna be for the demolitionist. I don't know why. Does he need? Need it? Not really. Is it good? I mean, most likely it's a freaking Tommy gun. But wait, what do you mean? As long as you can keep your finger on the trigger, is this for the freaking demolitionist? Because... I mean, just imagine the nukes. Imagine the freaking nukes. Okay, this has to be like fine-tuned or something. Maybe it's not even gonna be for the demolitionist. I don't even know because they didn't even say for which perk it's gonna be. But I can speculate demolitionist because, I mean, boom, explosives. I mean, that's the demo. But yeah, overall, even though it was probably made in five seconds, you know, just a skin on it and some stat changes. For a weapon like this, if it's gonna be on the demo, it's most likely gonna be good. Maybe even a replacement for the HX-25, I guess we shall see. It's probably not gonna like outperform the kaboom stick, but like I said, we'll see. Okay, this thing is gonna be the HRG Disruptor. It's an HM Tech 101. What are they doing? But yeah, at least they made a bit of effort to, you know, make it look a little bit different. And now let's go and read what it is. Gunslingers, have you ever found that the big ones are coming right for you and you didn't have the right option to get out of the situation? Enter the Disruptor. This little darling is designed to send disruptive plasma blasts downrange, quickly to keep the crowd at bay, or in a slower firing, more powerful shot for those bigger ones. I feel like this weapon's gonna be quite alright for just like supporting the team and just getting out of sticky situations just like the winter bites. And it's most likely gonna be good on this rivalist. I mean, I guess we shall see. Oh my god, now we're entering into the DLC weapons. So here we have the Piranha Pistol. Yep, it's... it's this. Okay, let's just read about what it freaking is. We know exactly what you're thinking, Berserkers and envious gunslingers. The Eviscerator is too big to carry with you at all times. While well, some of the lab coats agreed and have developed a pocket version that they're calling the Piranha Pistol. Piranha. How the hell you pronounce that shit? Able to bring the smaller sized ferocity of the spinning blades to carve up your foes. We should know that you can take two if you want. We what? All in all, the Piranha offers everything you love from the Eviscerator in a new bite-sized package. Okay, they did say you can carry two at once. Okay, that's actually quite epic. I mean, can you parry with them? Probably not. I mean, if you could... Yeah, this weapon's gonna be actually one of the best. So yeah, this is the Piranha Pistol. I think it's gonna be actually not that bad, or should I say not that terrible. And now we are moving into the last weapon in this update, which is gonna be called the Corruptor Carbine. What the hell is this? The last addition to your arsenal is what we're calling the Corruptor Carbine for medics and sharpshooters. What makes this bolt action contraption so special is its secondary ammunition that the lab coats call a seed. Oh yo, this is like a bolt action freaking rifle. Oh good. 
Nice. Is it gonna be good though? I guess we'll see. A target that has been seeded will explode under death in a cloud of standard medic gas. Oh, that's actually sick. That heals friendlies and poisons zeds. But be warned, a seed won't last forever in the wild and will degrade over time. So you may need to consider the timing of your shot. I mean, if you're just like killing clots, little things, yep, this seed is definitely gonna be staying... Well, yeah, enough that you can kill it. Yep, this weapon actually picked my interest. Now it's a bolt action freaking rifle, it looks good. And that secondary ammunition they're calling the seed is actually quite quite nice keep your eyes out as we'll be going over your next mission the map and quality of life improvements in the coming weeks and as a reminder hrg weapons are gonna be free and these two weapons the corruptor carbine and piranha pistol are gonna be paid dlc so if you want it i mean 20 bucks right easy clap i don't even know how many people still want to play killing floor or are interested in killing floor updates like these are just the ones that are you know driving this game into the ground but i mean the weapons yeah they do seem cool for like a week and then you're just like bored of the entire update already because they just don't provide anything better well then boys do let me know what you guys think in the comments of you know the tommy boom the disruptor piranha pistol and corruptor carbine or carbine for me personally yeah i think all of these are gonna be quite quite interesting i do wonder if you can actually pair it with the piranha pistol because if you can i mean that's gonna be insane but yeah with that being said hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and see you guys next episode adios Fresh bombs, so big. Now let's make sure. Burn, Zed. Don't get back up. Oh, Arschgesicht. They did, Fotze. These are said, Brent. Scheiße. I dig no grave for you. Don't get back. Spend freely. Things are about to get serious. You're a real survivor. Good for you. Can you feel the earth pressing down? Oh, your armor's seen better days. That's a hint, Wusef. More Zeds on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. You people disgust me. Your incessant gobbling of money. I will exterminate you. This is scared you. Don't hide. He's a Zed. Brent. Ah. Enough of this phase. Now you shrine can face new attacks. Enough of these little attacks. Here is something more to think of. Fools. That one. See what I have for you next, piggies. Dig no grave for you. Grenade, look out! Ah. None of you is going to heal me. But what is this? You shrine are not dead yet? Why not? It's unbalanced. Burns it, Mistrick. Oh. What?